We're on the shores of Belfast Lock. Um, we are looking at some rocks that look fairly unimpressive, but they're very important for understanding the geology of Northern Ireland uh, in the subsurface, but also important for the future of Northern Ireland. My name is Rob Rain. I'm a geologist at the Geological Survey of Northern Ireland. So we're looking at some rocks on the foreshore, and these are really crucial in helping us to understand uh, what goes on in the subsurface of Northern Ireland. So this is the late Permian carbonates. Then we have early Permian breccias and avoiding the tide. This is the early Carboniferous. For a long period, Permian rocks were important for producing oil and gas. Now, Permian rocks are important to Northern Ireland because they have very porous sandstones. They store a lot of water. And that water, because it's deep, deep down underneath the Earth's surface, has a lot of energy within it. And if we can extract the heat from that water, then that's a very, very green technology. It could have huge benefits for Northern Ireland. What's interesting about this is that on the shore we have a few meters of, of carbonate, but as we go to the north, deep underground, there's hundreds of meters of carbonate. So this is the same rock that we looked at on the shoreline. And this comes from a borehole called the Belfast Harbour borehole. And you can see that there are mineral veins within the rock, but this isn't the whole story. This is a gravity map of Northern Ireland and the blue areas show thick piles of sediment. And a borehole drilled at Larne, of which this is a graphic representation of that borehole. This is the surface and the depths are marked on the side. We have to go a long way down before we get to the rocks that we're interested in. And the blue here is the carbonates that we saw. But in this borehole, there's a thick succession of rock salt or halite. And this is the salt. Salt has several properties. One, that it can be dissolved out, uh, so you can make caverns, but also it doesn't let any gas through because it has no space between the crystals. Okay, so you can form a cavern, and in that cavern you can store gases. So what we're doing at GSNI is we're looking at all of the alternatives that we can so that Northern Ireland is as prepared as can be for energy use and needs in the future. Mm -hmm.